Hi guys, Wait, welcome oh. to the podcast. Uh, this week, we are joined by Max. Me, Max. <laughs> I don't think you guys know him, but he plays in our he plays in our podcast, and for some reason, we we only have two people this week, so we're gonna do. Right, a... I'm filling in for two people today. I'm pretty amped up, so let's get to yeah. it. Yeah. So Max, uh. Did you, how was your week? Let's see. Well, I've been uh, keeping up with, have you been keeping up with the AT&T 350K tournament? AT&T, no. I, I haven't heard that. What is that? Oh, like at all? Like, so yeah, on, on Twitch, at and yeah, that's what I said. They're holding a 350K tournament. Are you talking about AT&T, the um, company? Yeah, like yeah, I like the internet stuff, the broadband shit. Oh. Um, they they're running a tournament for like five games, right? Mm-hmm. So they ran let's see Apex first, then did by daylight. Uh, they're doing it every Friday for five weeks. So the third Friday they're running Street Fighter, and uh, that's the that's the week that we're on right now. And after that they're going to be playing, uh, I believe, Halo and CS:GO. So that's like three shooting games uh wow. dead by daylight i mean right? yeah dead by daylight i feel like that's the odd one out <laughs> like yeah huh. dead by daylight and has a community though dude dead by daylight's popping up they're really that game is cool pop- that's a really i don't know if you know about like the, the like horror crossover thing they're doing in that game but how they have like a uh, pyramid head or or or, or oh, for, they had pyramid I they have head? yeah uh, i actually know yeah. a few characters in that and then they actually have Sadako from The Ring. Did you see that? I, I need. I didn't know that. Really? Uh, I've been trying to get Pierce to play so we can like try it out because it's Dead like Dead by Daylight. It's like yeah, it's like four people and a killer, so that's like five people. It's perfect. That's like yeah, that's like I'd this. be down for that. Yeah, we need to play that so we can talk about mm-hmm. it. Anyway, the winner of the last tournament um, was Jake and Bake live. He's Jake the and... IRL streamer. Oh wow! So this is these are only famous people that are participating. It's yeah. Well, it's like invite only. Okay. Um, so they got like Shroud, Ms. Kiv, I uh, see. Lyric, Emiru. Well, so this is and... actually something that's big. It's something that I would actually watch, huh? It's like a it's like a mixture of communities, dude. So. Yeah, a lot of these guys true. get trained by like uh, real professionals from the community, so mm-hmm. they can stop the uh, competition. Is the Twitch the TV Friday. culture culture content basically everyone that is a main face of Twitch? Yeah, I don't know how. I think you like sign up for it. Um, anyway, Jake and Bake is he's got the reputation for being like the giga tryhard. He's getting like um well it's three fighter week, right? So he's getting Justin Wong, Infiltration, Tokido, um, Alex Myers to coach him. And he's getting like specific matchups uh ready for like example uh Akuma's uh double it's Akuma. Okay, yeah, like, I bet the Street Fighter one is pretty hype. Like you're probably <laughs> waiting That's for that I'm one, for. right? Yeah, I'm watching Jake and Big Trade, and he's 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 pretty good for like playing for two days. <laughs> you okay, so they're complete me. amateurs. They're complete amateurs, and they're training. They're training, and uh, I think Double Lift and the Lyric are the only ones that have previous. I'm pretty sure experience. there's certain characters that are just easy mode that you could just you could win. Yeah, oh, for sure. You can play. You can probably learn like really good, a really good Bison gimmick or a really good Blanca mm-hmm. gimmick. Just that you just like repeat over and over and cash him in a vortex. You could probably cheese a win like that. A lot yeah. of these guys are actually going with uh, playing the most overpowered character, Luke. Mm-hmm. Luke. But Luke is like, at the same time, like, he's like one of the most technical characters. So uh, I'm interested to see what's gonna come from that. Hey, usually, in- uh, technical characters are also like the easy to ease of access characters too yeah okay so he's like he's like really good uh <laughs> when he's played by amateurs he's really good when he's played by pros he's, he's a really good character 
So like, wow. I um, no for example, you, you, mm -hmm. you can just do a regular combo and it'll do like this much damage, right? Or you can do a combo that's way harder that does like, 20 I don't know, more. like a little bit more damage. More. Yeah. This that seems is, to be what Street Fighter is. That's kind of the, that's kind of the thing. Yeah, you can do the easy combo or you can do the hard combo. That's that's a lot of Street Fighter. But I'm um, really excited for that. Um, yeah, I played cool. a lot of Gundam Evolution as well. The I participated in the Oh Netflix yeah, Netflix no, I was so jealous. Thing. Like you guys participated <laughs> yeah, I told in you that. Decide already. Yeah, um what is that game even? Like I was so like Gundam... is this a fighting game? No, you're trolling. This guy's trolling. <laughs> he just wants these he's just awesome boy. Okay, so Gundam Evolution is uh six v six uh I wanna say competitive shooter, but it's it's very much uh, in the style of Overwatch, which was a competitive shooter. So um there was only one game mode and uh, it was ranked. Mm-hmm. Um, overall, it the game ran super smooth. It came with, I want to say like 15, 16 unique uh, Max Gundams. Oh, Gundams mm -hmm. tryout. Almost said Max. Max. <laughs> <laughs> the balance was really wonky. For example, there was a character named Barbados who had three boots on this character. Like you can like dash around in this game because you're a badass Gundam. Anyway, he had three boosts, and the boost regen on him was insane. So he would outpace everyone while being super tanky and one-shotting people. Everywhere. Who is Barbados from Gundam? I kind of forgot. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not... Yeah, I haven't watched any Gundam besides Gundam Wing. Cause oh, wow. The Barbados is the actual Gundam. Probably. Yeah, you it's do. It's not even so one Gun of the... Huh. These are all, these are all legit Gundams from the anime that they've brought in. No, but I thought and, they were using uh, like Zaku's. Zaku's. Oh yeah, there was like okay, so there's not there's like there's like these like legendary looking Gundam types that look like there's only one of them. There's like foot soldier types like the Zaku too. Yeah. Who is also a really good Gundam. He comes with three boots as well. He kind of has like a skate thing going on. Um, meaning that, like, when he boosts, he kind of, like, drifts mm -hmm. a little bit after boosting. The thing is, like... Or I might be confusing him with the, uh, the Dom Trooper who has, who has gates. Yeah, I think I'm talking about the yeah. Dom Trooper. The thing about the Gundam universe is but, that... yeah, that was they fun. Have... And I also mm -hmm. played, uh, also played Project K and the convenience store to, like, pretty sure... Oh, you're talking about the... Origins. Let's plays. Yeah, yeah, we put that. I uh, played Project K with you, and mm -hmm. uh, that was that was pretty uh, cute. Cat it was, was uh, yeah, a very cute game. Yeah, what it's a think? lot better like, than um... I thought. Like I didn't, I wasn't expecting that at all. After playing it, I was like, "What is this? What is this game?" <laughs> but it's totally yeah, like down the... my alley. Right. The uh, the pixel art look. Project Super Cat polished. is by Leaf6010. Right, uh, it's, it's free. You can find it on Steam. The music was really cute. It was only the, I believe, we've just played the prologue, right? So it was only like an hour long, but it's free. So definitely check that out. I uh, would compare it to like a horror Earthbound. It had a lot of flavor text in it, which was really cute like um yeah i, I shouldn't spoil it well, watch, the video <laughs> yeah, watch, watch the, watch the playthrough or play it i mean do both because it has multiple endings so everyone's gonna have like a different ending and i won't spoil which ending we got because it was pretty hype yeah uh, I, thought, I well i thought I, it said okay no uh, let's just scratch that. I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> scratch so that. we also played the convenience store. Fortunately, we lost the footage for that. Yeah, um, I felt like crazy. the convenience store... Convenience store games are like that. So recently, recently, those type of games have been really popular. The ones that are made by... Um, I'm not sure exactly what the person's name is. 
Ch Chila's art. Chila's art? Yeah. So they're it's like they're I don't I can't I couldn't find like J all the info games. about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're made by a, a pair of two brothers, these these games. And it's like a callback to um like older horror games. And uh, uses like some like retro graphic that just gives it a really super creepy aesthetic. No, it's crazy. The graphics I mean they're using every trick in the book to make it look like very to make it immersive. So uncanny. They're it's, using it photo looks, it, realistic graphics to yeah, intensify the like horror the NP, experience. The NPCs have like real faces from from like real people. It really they look like real people. And the game is like kinda it has like this art aesthetic blur to it where if you like look at things from far away it definitely looks like you could you could see this in real life you know yep that on top of the vhs film aesthetics which yeah, emulate the feel yeah, of VH crt experience. screens i'm not yeah. sure if anyone knows what that is but that is something that we used back in the day in the yeah, 90s dude. so that's what the 90s very... looked like if you guys <laughs> were curious true with the scan lines Mm -hmm. Like that's how everyone Very like true. saw the world back then. Yeah, we just saw everything in the scan lines and pixels. It's and definitely a psychological a horror time. game because it would drive you insane. That's what that's what it says. It says it, the game drives you insane. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> those games are crazy though. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I only saw Don't Comedian about Store. It. That's the only game you see. So yeah, they have like a whole. Whole, like arsenal they yes have, like, they, whole, do. Uh, Just uh, do. they do i think one of the popular ones like i'm familiar with the games i just didn't know like i just never played through all of them i've only seen the comedian store uh i know the other popular one is the tunnel are you familiar with that oh. one max yeah uh inu naki tunnel yeah inu naki tunnel. um oh <laughs> Yeah, I'm like a dude who just <laughs> just watches this stuff okay. on YouTube, and I'm like the guy who like puts his mouse on the, on the seat bar <laughs> to make sure I'm not like gonna stumble on a jump scare all of a sudden. So like I'll like preview my jump scares before I watch the video. That's how much of a chicken I am to, with these games. The thing is like, if you don't do that, then I feel like you'll actually just die. <laughs> you'll just get a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't... No, like... I would... I'm so mad the footage was missing because the game was so scary. I was actually... Yeah, my, I was having mm -hmm. goosebumps and sweat pouring down my pits. Definitely just... can't do that all the time. <laughs> Freaking you... You only live for... Yeah. <laughs> some people Every do. Time some people are game. like... Mm -hmm. What? Oh, you just, like, say, lose, like... like you yeah, just you lose, lose like, 20 a whole years year. Per... Per oh, game. Yeah. I can get that. You play five games and you're done. Yeah, unfortunately for us, they have like go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like nine, I still seven, can't eight. even yeah, play like FNAF. Fifteen games. FNAF is like what's up? I can't play FNAF. You know, oh, Five Nights at Freddy's, and then little dude, kids play that. Kids right? ten year olds. <laughs> kids play that. Kids are built different today. Kids are built. That's yes, sure. they are. They're, kids are built different. I don't understand. They're like, just exposed to Five Five Nights at Freddy's at like three years old, and they're like, "Oh, Fall Freddy Fazbear." <laughs> kids are like, yeah. Kids play this game too. Sheila's art games. And they're just like, "Whoa, that's not even scary <laughs> at all." It, yeah, these games are just the aesthetic is just a grade. It's like sirens, like the ring, nineties horror baby. So that was pretty much it for my week. Well, I did get a VR set. Actually, we can talk about that too. Uh, oh. That didn't happen last week, though. We could use a VR set for your future gameplays of um, the horror games, <laughs> horror genre. Uh, yeah, problem is I'm like just get poking fun at crazy. you. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I would. Don't get me wrong. I would more than love to play. Uh, Heart attack horror game, Same, but right? I get some crazy motion sickness when I play the play these games. Like, um, it's prevalent enough that these games have a mode where you can either like move around with the joystick, or you can just like teleport to where you point your uh, 
controller or whatever hmm. and i'm one of those dudes that just teleports everywhere because i cannot stand moving with the joystick and having my body my physical body stay still i i can feel my body like lean forward that is to compensate that is weird <laughs> i think creepy. i think that has to do with like your immersiveness like you trick your brain in thinking that you're actually oh yeah it's so else. immersive especially if you because <laughs> You gotta you gotta put the VR headset like really close to your face so like the uh, excuse me the um, there's no light that just like flows in from the bottom of the mask. If you're like if you have the mask like completely uh, strapped to your head, mm -hmm. you, you get pretty immersed. Yeah, it, it starts to become real life to you. That is like uh, well, that's yeah, that's like, good to hear up? because I didn't really play any VR games, but I've heard good stuff about it and bad stuff, but. One of those stuff was specifically about the, how you could see the the real world, so you can't really immerse yourself based off of the limitations of the headset. So, so it's good to hear that you can actually like kind of compensate for the limitations of visual. Yeah, it's the great. Headset. It's great, dude. Like, um, so I have the Oculus Rep. Two, I think, and um, you <laughs> you draw this like little play area for yourself with the little magic crayon, and uh, whenever you step outside that area, it like it'll like um, show you your real space. Like it'll sh it'll tell you that like hey, you're kind of stepping outside your play zone. It'll show you the real world for a second. So there are a lot of times where your immersion is broken with that. So um, yeah, you definitely have to play play in a big room. Nice. Hey, you ever play Super Hot? Oh, no, I've never played that game, but that's the go-to game that people talk about when they talk about their VR system. They're like, Super Hot. Or, uh, what's the hot. other game? Super with the Hot. Beat Sabers. It's either oh, Beat Sabers or Super Hot. Yeah, Super Hot was like a thing before like VR 2. It was like a big game. Um, the, 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 the time moves only when you move so uh in vr it just uh this is it's great in vr so yeah basically uh, the best experience you can yeah get. even best, when you look, uh, showcase yeah like looking around even uh moves time so you got to be careful even where you look so you're completely still when you're playing the game and uh, oh, uh, planning okay, out your movements cool. yeah you gotta stay completely still and um there's a, there's a lot of instances where you're like you're throwing shurikens behind you because you'll just you, the level will be like oh you spawn in there's like five guys so you can't even look around no you can't look around <laughs> but you can also manipulate it really easily for example what I've been doing is I've been like um thinning like my finger <laughs> like I have the time zone <laughs> you've been spinning in, uh, your finger from Doctor Stage yeah like I I like spin it very slowly if I want time to progress like oh. really slowly. Or I like or like spin it like yeah. faster and faster just yeah. to progress time. Okay, and that's... it really feels like I have the time zone when I'm <laughs> when I'm playing super odd. Yeah, we played um I watched just a bunch of YouTube videos. Oh yeah? You what know, do you do what are you diving into? YouTube thing. What have I been diving into recently? Uh I I saw a lot of videos that I don't know if you guys know, but Will Smith, like something's <laughs> relating to him, apparently. Are yeah, you familiar with that, name, Max? Yeah, yeah. My wife's name. How do you mouth? So I think yeah, I watched it. I watched it, I watched it like a hundred times when it came out. Yeah. Yeah, it came out and. Yeah, lots to say about that. First of all, it's like, whoa, I thought Will Smith was... I thought he was doing all right. What, like, I feel like with that event, a lot of things transpired ever since that time. It's just like how Penguin Zero put it. He said that um, the slap was the big bang of <laughs> the Will Smith, like, Pandora's box. That is his life. <laughs> it's definitely, Very yeah, he's de he definitely did a backflip off whatever stage he was on before because he was already kind of like uh, backflip accepting he was like doing suicide squad he was accepting like a whole bunch of movies that 
he shouldn't yeah. have been really in after all that success from like really, pursuit of happiness. Really? I thought Suicide Squad was one of the A like triple A budget films. Yeah, he was like dead eye or something. Huh. Yeah, dude dude is was... whipped, man. He's whipped, but then I heard he like by drama, I mean like there's a lot of backstory I learned about Will Smith through this ordeal, I guess that I didn't really need to learn about. I guess he's uh what cheats on his wife sometimes no 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 other way around his, his wife no, 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 cheats no, on of him them. both of them they both cheat on each other what? yeah i don't know what you've been watching but then that's what i've been like learning a lot about I'm like what the he is okay well he's doing stuff dude's too. like yeah he's like i mean or anything he's like sort of related to like scientology right oh. now he's like going to, he's like getting into that too right now so huh did you watch the yeah. jada the second video that like popped up like there's Which one there were a couple there were a couple like where there was like, like the talking. one where she was like live recording him and he was clearly uncomfortable with being recorded exactly she was no, that's about, like, exactly what foolishness or something she's out of like yeah, an ice queen who says foolishness that's like some virgil stuff right when he's talking to dante <laughs> foolish <laughs> foolish I'm that's the exact vibe foolishness. Some, like devil queen but she sounds oh my god yeah she like says she didn't even want to marry will smith or something she like says that publicly after um, basically she's this... using she's gaslighting she's like gaslighting like, a lot and she she likes drama <laughs> And I did not need to know about that. Yeah, maybe Will like, Smith like, like maybe he whoa. like gets off on that. Maybe he's like he's like yes, queen, mistreat me in front of everybody. Maybe he gets off on that. That's like uh, his thing. I mean, no, I'm if I were to I'm psychoanalyze what's like going on, <laughs> what's I feel like you know me. I feel like okay, so there's a couple things going on. Like I feel like Will Smith does have that. <clears throat> Does have that like save the princess type of personality? What? What not? Yes, white knight in shining armor, basically. The simp. I feel like he's more in his head, so he feels like he affects the world a lot more than he does. He's like egotistical. His son's definitely like that, Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. So, I have yeah, no idea. Probably... What... I can't Dude, say anything like... about Jaden. His son thinks he's like the smartest person in the world you should see his tweets <laughs> Wait, have you heard about that mirror tweet okay well definitely see? for sure right because they're li living in like a ecosystem yeah their so own like, microcosm his dad definitely gasses him up he's like yes your son you are the smartest person in the world because his tweet like look at this tweet all right yeah, i'm reading sure. right now how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real oh that one everyone knows that one <laughs> Well, that's it. That's Jaden Smith. Okay. Most like, trees are blue. How about that one? Hmm? Most trees are blue. Well, it makes you think, <laughs> and then that's what's. I think that's uh what it's supposed to do. Like, Jaden definitely thinks a lot. Like, but if you're living in that. What? If true, you live, true. If you had no chance. You had no chance, you're in a... Dude. His wife yeah. was just like, yeah, like just what being a... crazy this whole time. Yeah, the kid's gonna, kids, the kid might turn out. Weird. I think any, any kid that comes out of like a famous family, it doesn't really have a chance. Like it's the same reason why royalty, like doesn't continue on, succeed. Oh, dude, they get the messed up. Uh, Jenna McCurdy is like coming out with the book that's like, I'm glad like she's dead or something. She's like glad that her mom's dead. <laughs> Did you what hear about that? Fuck? You know Jenna McCurdy is from iCarly, the blonde one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know iCarly. I didn't know that was her name. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah these crazy. people are... No, I mean, there's a reason why they're all in, like, Scientology and stuff. Like, who in the right mind would, like, voluntarily go into Scientology if there was no... Like, what is what is Scientology? <laughs> they Oh my god. Oh damn man, that's like a whole that's a whole That's a whole rabbit hole? Whole thing. That's a whole rabbit hole. You can, I can I know I know uh, some I mean, surface yeah, level stuff. We're only talking about surface level stuff. I don't wanna Yeah, so like <laughs> dude, they like 
it's like a cult so they d- they definitely have like these like tactics that the thing it, into their mm-hmm. system so if everyone like, knows a cult then why are they joining it it's like jehovah's witness i don't know why the, i don't know why there's so many celebrities in there because like there are some cases where people are already in scientology that yes. become actors Tom and there's Cruise. cases where people are actors that turn into like a scientologist or like go into that faith sort of thing so it's like it, it goes like both ways and i don't know what <laughs> like offering these like celebrities because it must be like either it must be a lot of money because these guys are definitely rich yeah, I'm looking up Scientology just to just to see the like, yes. like what they. Have you ever seen one of those me. recruiting centers? No. They, they have like these like, um. <laughs> it's I I only know I I know a little bit, but like they go in there and they like check your en- you like put your hands on this like machine and they like oh, check wow. your energy. Oh wow! It's like Nen. It's. <laughs> It's, it's Nen like testing. it's like it's like people like putting in yeah like imagining Nen is real and they yeah. like diagnose you with having like low energy and you're Wait, like that's oh, pretty you cool like... though that's like actually if I were to make like a a religion cult I would just make something it sounds like that because you're saying Nen right now but you don't get yeah, Nen powers like this thing no you don't get Nen powers out of it you just get stuck in a cult forever where like if you read out your 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 parents then you're like mm-hmm. you know that's like totally I feel like that's cult. just self realization. Isn't that whole process of like living just like to realize yourself and then and then using a a Nen test to figure out what type of Nen type you are? I feel like that you that's all you need. You figured out the secret of life. <laughs> right. You just give you the Nen test and you say you're you Nen like yeah. Nen is dog shit, bro. And then you're like, fuck, dude. I guess I gotta like go like kill a kid in a like cemetery because this cult is bat shit crazy well have you ever tried the nen test in real life i feel like you can actually do it oh i wish i wish the, like, the water trick it. right with uh, the leaf on top i feel like you could hella we talk about nen do let's do it let's nen. just talk about nen fuck your week let's talk about nen dude mm-hmm. nen, nen, what's nen, my nen, nen? nen, nen. uh i know nen, nen is nen. like part of like your personality so like hunter hunter nen i'm talking about hunter, yeah hunter hunter nen hunter hunter nen I'm I'm talking about that too. It's like it's uh, related yeah. to your personality. I would definitely be an oh. enhancer. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about the test real quick uh-huh. and explain it. So you have a cup of water, right, with the with the leaf on it on top, and you like pump it full of Nen. You're like aura. <laughs> you're you like your essence, right? Your soul, basically. You pump it, yeah. and depending on how the the water reacts, it it uh, that'll describe like your your Nen personality, your Nen like attributes, your Nen category. So. There are a couple, right? There's like enhancer, yes. right? And, and yeah, there's, there's an like enhancer. a transmitter, manipulator, um, specialist, and yeah, I'll, conjurer. I'll just state what they are. Enhancer is strengthening themselves or objects. Transmutation, changing the quality or aura to match someone something else. Conjuration, creating objects, objects from aura. Specialization, which is just unique effect, whatever that means manipulation anything controlling animate and inanimate things and emission detaching yep, aura yep. from the body i feel like specialization is broken though like anyone that has specialization is broken it's like special when you're like a specialist right it's like it's like you, you, you don't fit into don't a follow category. the rules <laughs> you don't follow the rules you can... like your shit is so crazy that you got your own category we just put the miscellany we just put and, you in this category for crazy but then spells. what's interesting about the nen circle or diagram is that is that they're like what the location of these different types of men matter like if you're an yeah, enhancer like, then you can't be a specialized <laughs> yeah the placement so like if if you're if your categories are adjacent then you have a better chance of learning those abilities you have a higher affinity if you're if you're for example, I think uh, enhancers and specialists are like opposite sides Opposites, of each other. Yes, which makes no yeah. sense. It's like which makes no sense. Why can't you be? Like... Why can't you be specialization for? I feel like specialization should be outside of the circle. Should have its own yeah. rules. Yeah. Yeah, because it's right? it's near like conjuration and manipulator, I think. Huh. But yeah, it should definitely be out. But yeah, this is an interesting um 
thing I just found, which is like personality types and how it relates to your Nen aura. So it says here, it says enhancers are innocent, determined, and simple minded. Yeah, um, uh, I think I think Hisoka said that to Gon. And yeah, everyone agrees that he's like, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then manipulators are logical people who advance at their own pace. Transmuters are whimsical liars and unpredictable. Transmuter, what's on? Changes the quality of aura. Uh, so like Hisoka. Emi so emitters. Wolf. What's up? I'm just imagining Will Smith with Nen powers right now because this oh, all yeah. stems from Will Smith, right? Uh huh. <laughs> this is definitely an enhancer. He's charging up his slap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> his his whole condition is he has to like walk up slowly to the guy and then like sucker slap him. <laughs> That's how that's he actually, off. Oh my god! No, that's. I mean, Nen is crazy. Nen is just like yeah, you put, it's real life. You can make your you can make your Nen stronger if you like put limitations on yourself. Like <laughs> you can like uh, put a dagger to your heart and be like, oh, if I do this to like black people, then I die. If I like mess up black people, then I die. That's that's like something <laughs> you put on the you. black people. <laughs> it makes your abilities like twenty times stronger because you put a condition on yourself. The purpose <laughs> no, that's is like to reinforce the resolve that you have that shapes your nen abilities. Oh so, shoot! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's the, basically a gamble. A literal, yeah. Representation. It says of that emitters will. are impatient, disturbed, and yeah. not detail oriented. Wait, that's just all negative. What the fuck? <laughs> Specialists are independent and charismatic. Wow. Rolo, okay. Con Kritika, then, whatever. Conjurers are sensitive, imaginative, and high strung. I there's definitely people that are like Yeah, there's all sorts of characters in that show. Simple minded and they're like independent, charismatic. You could definitely have both of those traits. You could definitely yeah. be an enhancer specialist, <laughs> even though that's like not possible. <laughs> I wonder what an enhancer specialist would even look like. Like what kind of powers they would have? It, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could think of someone, but I don't want to talk about spoilers. Oh, okay. <laughs> People haven't watched it. Y'all gotta watch some Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. I know uh, one of our friends haven't watched Hunter Hunter yet, and I keep on recommending it. But then, uh, people that haven't watched Hunter Hunter, they have the mm -hmm. same. They come in with the same argument, which is like, it is looks it? like. It looks like, looks like a kid's show. Kid. Yeah, it looks like a kid's show. It's like a kid's show. <laughs> Which is crazy, right? Little... Okay, first of all. No, I mean, it is. A, looks, it does look like that. But then that's like the... It's like... That was the whole point of Togashi's like... What he was trying to do. He's like... It's like he's got, got him. He's got the whimsy like, too. Got yeah. him. I got you to got him. watch it. It's a not a kid's show. show. It's actually... It's actually a show. It's a real show. It's actually <laughs> what, I, I don't know what's wrong. What, what, what's so bad about it being a kid's show, though? Because I think Demon Slayer is definitely for kids. Yeah, I think. I think they Attack just don't like Titan Gon's design. For kids too. <laughs> and I feel for that. Like Gon's design is crazy. He looks like. He doesn't it's like look black cool hair. At that's all. green. It's like the like green hair is black, and his black hair is green, and he's his green. Green hair is black, yeah. And he has a weird hairstyle. He doesn't. He wears boots, and he doesn't wear socks, and he has. Yeah, he's he's a cool character, I guess. I mean, I understand. Like, Gon was like my least favorite. When okay, they don't like. Okay, I started. a lot of a lot of a lot of people here don't like shows where like the main characters are like five year olds and ten year olds, which for sure, to be fair, is super annoying when like five year olds have like romantic interests. Yeah, I can like, understand that. A yeah, five year old it's... like eats up a ten, a, like a adult, like millennial god soldier. Yeah, how are you supposed whatever. to relate to like a ten year old little wait that looks like an yeah. eight year old? Which, to be fair, yeah, is what Hunter Hunter looks like. But there are, are much more characters than just Gon and Kalua. Those kids. The, the real bulk of the show, in my opinion, is all the other characters that meet these two characters. The world building. Yeah. They, these main these two kids, like they're not their strongest character just in their show. They're just like a part of it. They're just like a part of the upper echelon. They're hunters, so they're part of the hunter world. And what actually got me to guys. watch Hunter Hunter is Togashi, Togashi's creator. Togashi. Togashi. He actually made another show that I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with, which is Yu Yu Hakusho. 
And then that's what made me like actually give Hunter Hunter a chance. I was like, wait, I'm not gonna watch this cr like kid show, but wait, the author made Yu Yu Hakusho. That's crazy. You know when you I'm... when you brought up Togashi, I can only I can only remember that picture of him where he's like where he's like <laughs> playing a, a Super Nintendo game. It's like trash everywhere. There's like he he lives in like a trash pile basically yeah yeah but he, no, he, no made, Yu Yu Hakusho. he made Yu Yu Hakusho <laughs> he made Yu Yu Hakusho and... oh wow I just found the picture do you Yoshi see that Toro, is, is that crazy yeah he's, he's a legit like degenerate real? just like us that's that's Sogashi and you, you, you see the spoiler he was in mm -hmm. but he's, um uh... yeah I've, I've not watched Yu Yu Hakusho I've not read Yu Yu Hakusho I just know that there's like a spirit gun and like a guy who like turns big. <laughs> That's it. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, without is good. without spoilers, like tell me about it. Yeah. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. It was basically the setting was a lot better. It's about a spirit detective. So it's basically about like the main character is like an older version of Gon, <laughs> basically, like a okay, older Gon, yeah. like high schooler, and then. Okay, okay. Except they're very mature, even for their age, just because good. because it's impossible to make like a actual good high school character that's right acts his age. And what does a spirit detective do? So basically, the premise of the show is that the main character dies in the first episode. Okay, that, right, I don't that's, know if that's, that's spoilers. Kind of funny, that yeah. It's like a no, that's, big that's spoilers. Close, main first character episode dies. Is whatever. Yeah. In the first episode <laughs> no that's crazy right and like he, he goes to like japanese and then he heaven goes to yes he, he goes to basically gun. dragon ball heaven and dragon ball heaven all right he talks with enma which is the god of dragon enma. ball or <laughs> of japanese religion and then basically enma. he real um when after talking to enma he, enma tells him that he wasn't supposed to die because or he's not oh? yeah he wasn't supposed to be there like he shouldn't be there oh? because this is outside of everything that was expected of this guy the main character I guess the main character was like a douche the entire time and then basically let me premise this with how he actually died because it would make a lot more sense he died by me... saving a kid from a car okay and then, apparently, fate was set up so, like, fate was set up so, like, he wasn't made, he wasn't meant to save that kid, is basically what I'm trying to say. The kid was supposed to die? Yeah, the kid was supposed to die, and then he, well, based off of Enma, the god's, like, prediction, there was no way that the main character should have saved the kid. Dude. Because the main character is a douche and he's like one of those messed up. Oh, so the god thought he was a douche and he's like, no, there's no way he's gonna yeah, save this yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, he's no way he's anyway. gonna save this kid. Yep, and okay, then he how saved that, his. How does that lead to him getting a spirit gun? <laughs> Don't well, tell me how he gets a spirit gun. What is that about? <laughs> how does it go from like him I'm saving a kid to gun. like suddenly getting dragon ball powers? He like makes it. Dude, he makes like a fucking like gun. He shakes makes a with gun. his hands, right? Uh, it's basically Nen. With like his fingers. He like shoots beams with his fingers, right? That's like a thing. Yeah, I haven't watched him in a while actually, but then he definitely <laughs> learns from Nen powers. <laughs> it's, it's straight up Nen. Huh? It is Nen. Um, and they call it, I think it's like spirit powers or something, but it, oh, that's like, basically it's like Nen. Ryatsu. Ryatsu mm. from, or like curse energy or. or, or... I guess, I guess after like making a deal, he makes a deal with uh, Edma, which is a god, and then he tells him like, mm -hmm. "Well, since you weren't supposed to die, we're gonna actually like test you, test your soul to see if you actually deserve to live again. So we're gonna give you a chance to return to your body, because I guess apparently he didn't really die, because his body is still in like a coma, his physical body." Oh, okay. He's like halfway there. He's like he's halfway there, and, and he's like in the tunnel, and and was talking to him about it. Yeah, 
Does he? So he like goes around solving spirit stuff, like ghosts. He like shoots ghosts or something. Well, basically, he goes right into the thick of it, where he just starts hunting like demons and ghosts. It's just like what? what is gotcha. This gotcha. Crazy... Okay. He start. Yeah. Yeah. He goes. It just goes like, from zero to one hundred. And it's I'm, really. Cool. I'm interested in the show. I'm interested in the side character with the pompadour. That guy looks kind of filthy. Oh, but... honestly, he's like one of my favorite. He looks characters. like Leorio. His name is Kuabara. And then, okay, one thing about this anime that's What's up? like similar to Hunter x Hunter is that all these characters, they are like, you can tell these archetypes are like a part of the characters you'd find in Hunter x Hunter. Like, these characters yeah. are cool. Like, I would say the main character, what I like about the main character, Yusuke, is like he is a mix of the main two characters in Hunter x Hunter. The Makilua and Gon? Yeah, I would say he's like Yo, the mix of okay. them too. So yeah. that's yeah. what I liked about And then that makes a good character. It's just like, wow, he's a... This is yeah. a good character. <laughs> oh, well, Gon is crazy and Kilua is uh, one of my favorite Kilo characters. Kilua is cool, sure. yeah. Sure. And cool. Interesting fact about these characters. Um, their names are all like, they mean something. It's kind of like Dragon Ball where... Goku means oh. well, okay. I don't know. Goku just means like piccolo. Goku. It's like uh, Vegeta means vegetable, and Gohan means. Did, I don't know if it, you guys already know this, but this I'll just state the obvious. Gohan's name means rice, and Buruma <gasps> means uh, bloomers, and they're surprise, surprise. Like um, Bulma's entire family is like kind of related to each other, like bloomer. Bloomers is mm -hmm. Japanese, like bloomers, and Trunks, their son, is Trunks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally, the name Yo. is Trunks. <laughs> and then they have a daughter. And surprise! What? Guess what her name is? Her name is Bra. <laughs> Bra. <laughs> it's kind of cute. All name of underwear. Hmm? Yeah, the, the Frieza, the Frieza family is like that too. Like Frieza is Frieza. Yeah, cooler Frieza cooler. cooler. King, King Cold is King Cold. King Cold. <laughs> Yeah. Is it King Cold? Oh, yeah, right. it is King Cold, I think. Uh, yeah, it's actually King Cold. It's so funny. See those names? Yeah, it's really cute. It's That's cute, super cute. Yeah. Uh, Bulma, Bloomer. She was definitely the first love interest in the beginning. <laughs> True. Definitely. Wasn't that weird? It's so weird. She was, like, it, adult, like, she was like an adult in Dragon Ball, and then like Vegeta, like. She was a plot device. <laughs> Vegeta, and then like, she crazy. suddenly turned into a character <laughs> that has her own, like. Yeah, I didn't watch a lot of Dragon Ball, history. but yeah, I know there was a lot of lewd. There was definitely a lot of lewd with uh, Bulma. In the show. beginning, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it's shown then for you. But then, okay, how yeah. this relates to Yu Yu Hakusho show is that names in Yu Yu Hakusho show also meant something. Like, the main character's name is Yusuke Urameshi, or Urameshi, mm -hmm. and then. Yurameshi actually means something in Japanese. Um, let me actually look it up because I don't want to get him wrong. Yurameshi no, yeah, means <laughs> it means means ghost helper. Oh yeah, literally it just means ghost helper. Ghost helper? No, 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 no. That's not right. It means like resentful, like Urameshi, Urum. I don't know, something like that. Like if you look it up, you'll. You'll see what I mean, and then you'll be like, "Whoa, that's cool!" And also the other character, Kuabara, that means like, like I will curse you, Kuabara. Actually, uh, let me actually look it up. I, w I wish I knew what you're talking about. I haven't watched the show, so I, I don't know if these characters are. No, just their names. It just means stuff. Oh, okay, it it, it's like it means it's like a phrase. It's Kuabara, Kuabara, like is analogous to knocking on wood. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. cool bar, like cool bar. So it's all these things like relate to like superstitious events. So that's an interesting the, fact about the show. There's like a lot of like enemies in there. There's like some spirit babies you fight, like hollow. There's definitely um you fight in there. I wouldn't say that they're hollow because the enemies in this show one thing I liked about the show and then why it's like similar it's to Hunter 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 is that the enemies aren't like like hollows they're not they're the opposite of hollow they're like actual people <laughs> they're like actual characters Fill them. which is like hunter hunter 
It's like they every character is a has their own thing going on. They're not meant to be like a beat stick or to job to the they main have character. Some, they're not they're not like black and white villains, mm-hmm. like I'm gonna destroy the world sort of thing. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Are they exactly so they're fighting people or are they, are they fighting they're like, fighting people like with like uh, Oh like other people with they're spear fighting guns? People with like evil in their hearts. <laughs> I don't know. I just swear oh, there's like another okay. anime that like Do they use like do they have like an do they have like Sith powers in? They do have like, like they have men power, powers. Like, <laughs> they have red like red men. <laughs> do they, they have like have, red no, Sith powers? They just have like regular men powers. They're like oh, regular gotcha. people with neg- regular men powers. It's just characters in yeah, gotta... fighting hunter 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 people. That's it. Dude, I really gotta get into it because um uh, it kinda sounds interesting. I that's like the favorite part of all my shonen shows, how their powers work. Uh basically like, usually... mm-hmm. What's up? Go ahead. No, basically it's it was a good show, except the ending. But then at least it ended. So I, that kind of makes it a end. better. That makes it a better show, in my opinion, because it actually has an ending. Like it's completed. Yeah. Well, Hunter Hunter might end like forty years from now. I heard that it's never gonna end, and people just like. <laughs> no, people don't say that. Agreed with that. Don't say that. It's, like the thing is, the ending will never meet up with the expectations i feel like they need to create a one piece type of ordeal like the ending has yeah. to be like one piece which yeah, not without getting no spoilers, too much into yeah, spoilers. Not yeah. anything about one piece just with that type of expectation set in place i think but, mm-hmm. yeah that one piece uh payoff is gonna come hot any second now it will come gonna... and then everyone wants to know about it because it's gonna be in all the merchandise it's gonna yeah be i like... hope it i hope i hope it pops off one piece is uh one piece is was is one of my one of my favorite anime it's hard to watch now as an adult but yeah show was full of them yeah that's it. that's an interesting thing our interesting idea right because all these animes I, that yeah, we they're watched all uh they're all ending but then these are animes we watched from childhood and then we don't yep. necessarily get the same payoff as we would have gotten if we were like still a child right like we're, we're still like we, we're not like... i don't give a shit about <laughs> one piece no just kidding i don't give a shit about like naruto for example like maybe back then i yeah. like cared i'm like oh naruto oh yeah we're not watching like every you. episode for sure just we're, just the pre saves but then when the... naruto see, ended see what's happening, you know yeah when naruto yeah. ended i didn't give a a shit yeah at least like go on the wiki and kind of like read where everybody was at i was like what if the... like who cares about this kid you know what the first thing i looked up was when naruto ended i looked up if guy sensei went all the way and he and he oh yeah. <laughs> i think we can talk about naruto before he definitely did we... he definitely did go all the way did he yeah did he go all the way oh, he went God. he went he went okay <laughs> he came back the guy sensei Guy Sensei's um, power is a super good example of Nen. <laughs> his, his power is his punch power and is kick. basically no no punch hard and kick hard. Yeah, it is, but then it's basically Nen. He's like set limits on himself to to make his Nen more powerful. It's like well, he like he like it's not that he has like. Are you talking about him not using ninjutsu or like him just like Guy him just punching? Yeah, yeah. he just used Taijutsu. I think it's because he's sucks Actually, no, at no, no. <laughs> Jitsu, yeah. Rock Lee's even anyway. worse. Because yeah, Rock Lee's like even worse. worse. Even worse because Guy Sensei can at least fly somehow. <laughs> well, okay, Guy Sensei's dad was like like that too. He like sucked in ninjutsu. It's like his whole family is just like. No, no but how do you that, explain him flying? It. Flying is definitely like ninjutsu. Or he, he kick, he jumps hell hard and he like jumps the air. He like kicks the air and like flies around and shoots like beams of themes of like compressed air at people that's <laughs> you, you, that's you know. straight up ninjutsu that's like better than Dude, ninjutsu did Rock- you see rock he, fly- he definitely flies in the air when he's fighting no. uh gara he's like darting around in the air when he's doing like his like it's probably canon that rock lee is like stays on the ground the whole time and then guy sensei can fly like his power is probably like that's that was a thing i yeah, if you're like strong in Naruto, you can just automatically fly. I feel or like no yeah. one can fly except for him. 
There's dude, there's a couple people that can fly. Pain could fly. He just remember he flew the whole time oh, he was doing um he used his gravitation. planetary devastation. Gravity. Magic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're random, random gods, so yeah. There's probably something in there that you'll make you fly. The eight gates. And the eight gates is something that what, taught by his father? Yeah, his father <laughs> his father okay, yeah. There's some lore, right? His father sucked at ninjutsu. He couldn't even pass the shooting exams, right? Okay. But he trained his eight gates like like crazy. Uh, the seven, seven swordsmen of the mist like came and jumped like Guy Sensei when he was a kid, and his dad was like, "I got you, easy for me, not easy." He like killed like four of them and then died in the process. But he uh, he showed his son what was up, and That's his son broken. learned the same skill. His power is Dude, so broken. It's like if there was any like master forgive me like just this once ability that was definitely it because you like bro you like die <laughs> you like die after using all your gates like opening up all your gates you just yeah. like turn into a chris <laughs> you turn into not that guy not that guy since he died but <laughs> there's a screenshot of him like right after it and he's like yeah uh -huh. he's like charred <laughs> he's like burned to a chris because oh he's like yeah can't can't he's just went to him yeah i can't reference other stuff, anime. Otherwise, I would definitely reference other anime. Anyways. Yeah. Spoilers, so. <laughs> Naruto spoilers. Well, that's done. I think we I think we can move on. Yeah. Elden Ring. Guess we can talk about Elden Ring. Elden Ring spoilers. But we can talk about Elden Ring. Okay. Spoilers. We don't have, the guy. We don't have Thomas. Gonna... The one who... True. The only person in the world that hasn't played Elden Ring for some reason. True, true, true. Waited, purposely waited until like, I don't know. Even though the hype's not gone because people are still talking about Elden Ring, even now. Yeah, um, I had to like. Okay, let's go full into okay. Elden Ring. Spoilers. All right, we're just going like, into Elden Ring right now? Yeah, every, all right, okay. Like, we're pulling you wanna, do you wanna start? Hidden wall, every like. Hitting it 50 times. I'm, up, yeah. I'm opening all my gates up for Elden Ring. I'm turning into a crisp after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, let's all talk right, about Elden what? Ring. Yeah. You start, you start. I weighed. <laughs> How do I even start about Elden Ring? Bro, it's a popular game. Talk about it's... shit you want to talk about. Uh, uh, the story was good. <laughs> Not even though there's no story. What do I want to talk about? Okay, one... okay I'm going to talk about my only problem with Elden Ring. Like, and there's not much, like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's we'll not... talking about problems, right? Yeah, I'm talking about problem okay. about Elden Ring. Because that's the... That's one thing I have to, like, let off my chest. Um, okay, go ahead. From Software. I love that company. They they do... They made every game played, so good. They made every game played so all good. their games? Yeah, I, I played all, all their games. games. I played their games even before it was popular. I played Demon's Souls. <laughs> Back when yep, people were like... Sure. And then... Ooh, and I, I told Demon everyone Souls to play Demon PS3. Souls. I was like, I was like, yo, this game is fire. How come? How come? Literally, no one is talking about this. Like it was basically, it Demon was basically, no. like, what the hell is this? It was, was basically this Elden Ring. Game? It was basically Elden Ring, like ten years ago. The Demon Souls back then. No, yeah, I was okay, playing Elden probably. Ring ten years ago, and then people didn't even know about it. They're just like, they're like, completely ignorant to it. And I'm just like, yo, guys, I'm playing Elden Ring. 10 years ago you're like then, shouting at yeah I'm like, you're like shouting this game's at the night. best game in the world and you guys are you uh, don't know about this Elden Ring Elden Ring came out 10 years ago in the form of Demon Souls and it was so good like I can't gush about it enough but then right, the formula basically what I'm trying school. to say is yeah they figured out the formula a long what? time ago and then my only gripe with From Software is that in their games is for some reason well not for some reason they're not good at balancing and oh, let me go specific balance. into balancing yeah let me go specific okay yeah we, can, like we they, can just talk about balance I'm even that, yeah. something yeah we could talk about weapons all day and just be like oh yeah that's not balanced or whatever but then i'm going to talk about something that we can't even you can't even argue about like what's up you can level up to max cap like you can max out all your stats mm. and that is from a gameplay perspective that's just that is not good in my opinion like why are you able to level up to level 700 
And then how they balanced the PvP in the past is they made it so as long as your soul level or your actual your level is within 20 levels or something like that, then you could mm -hmm. fight each other. But that is but a redundant game... restriction. And yeah, in this game, it's where, well, might as well say, yeah. What were you going to say, Max, playing this game? Uh, I was just going to mention, like, if you're in a party, then there's, it. There, you can have, like, a person that's, like, level 700. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. you could be level one. You could be level one. And then yeah. you could you could summon any of your friends, right? The right. thing about summoning your friends like is your there's friend no person. limitations to summoning your friend. Yeah. Your friend could be level, you yeah. know, 1 million, kind of like 1 million power level or something. And then you're level right. 1, right? But then right. everyone else, the invaders, which can only mm -hmm. invade you while you're in a party, mm -hmm. well, isn't that convenient? You're freaking... So, so you have a, like a t level 10 invader, which follows, which has to follow the rules of the invading rules. It's like you can only be right. within 10 levels of the host. Right. And so, right, the invasion rules are super weird in this game. You really have to opt in to be invaded as a solo player, and usually, in uh, when you're when you're invading, usually you're going against like three people. That's like the normal thing, because that's you're already you're opted in immediately when you when you have co-op with you. Yeah. So it's a little different from the previous games, and it you is. were mentioning like people like power leveling, right? And you, I think you. No, I was saying like, like I was just saying basically no. like it's not fun when you're invading or it's not fun you invading about, at you, all in this you're game. You're about invading, yeah. Invading sucks in this game for sure. We're, we can talk about invading and out. It's, it's hella molding like that. Right. So balance. So previous games, you would use humanity, correct, to have the ability to summon. Yeah, you get a little bit more the... HP limited it was like a give and item, take. right guess. you would summon stuff but you would have the chance of getting invaded on that was kind of like the give and take that they used to have but in elden ring um you no, can either opt in mm -hmm. right or yeah i'm just trying to simplify i'm just saying this game is hell unbalanced and so dumb it's like why is this why is this I'm like this hmm? i'm molded we talk about how, how good the game is though besides like the cooperative nature because i i haven't played a lot of uh the the, the pvp, the PvP. Element, the... yeah of course yeah, yeah the single player is masterpiece single player game, game, is a masterpiece. yeah you can say that again without this game is circle masterpiece jerking. they said the game is 30 hours long and then anyone that <laughs> plays the game wow well, it's like wow this game is a masterpiece <laughs> yeah you know what my favorite part of the game was um them having so you would open up the map right and would you you're, you 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 couldn't scroll past whatever you discovered so Ooh, like when you just have you Limgrave, get, yeah. yeah your map looked kind of big already like Limgrave is kind of huge on its own yeah it looked like and hyrule map, you can't yeah you can't scroll past that it just looks like hyrule field or something it's a big ass field Mm -hmm. And as soon as you unlock another area, oh, your scroll bar moves way further. And the more you play, the more the game just expands. And and you find out that you can go underground and there's like a whole underground section. And and that there's like teleporters that teleport you to secret areas within basically the secret the, areas. Basically the world, not, the world in this game was satisfying. It is... It, it is big. satisfying. Big. It is, like I didn't know that. Like people are greedy when they want their when it comes to game content. They want their games to be long and just like they want a good, satisfying game. And most games this day, that in this day and age, they don't deliver. You always get like ten percent of what you want, what you actually want. It's like, oh, this game is fun. But it's only ten percent, like, of what I actually want. There's it's always like, filler. I finished it. There's always it, a like, lot of filler. There is filler, and then people always finish it like early than they expect. But this game, in Elden Ring specifically, it gives you everything that you like could. It gives you enough of Elden Ring where you're just like satisfied. It so you were so satisfied. Much. Near the end of my playthrough, I was kind of like. I was like getting, getting you know, sick of it, it sounds yeah. like kind of bad, but I was like, I was like, dude, when is this gonna end? 
why do I keep fighting more stuff that I that I keep going through? And it's not like it's not like th this was the end of like a thirty hour playthrough or something, but like yeah, I was getting like I was getting mad at the game because I kept on like fighting more of the game to play. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was just like a definitely funny reaction something you would get. No, exactly. It's like once you are given so much, it's kind of like sickening. It's like, whoa, there's so much. Like this content. game is, there's so much of this game. What the hell? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like I, I don't, it, so my playthrough took like 120 hours. I don't know about you. About the same. I about the I'm same, pretty sure yeah. everyone's first playthrough. If you're playing it right, then it should take about 100 hours at least. Right. And I didn't farm anything. I just without like, like through the game, yeah. right? Yeah. And this is in game uh, hours, like not even like AFK right, in game hours. This is playing the game, actually, like playing mm. actively. The entire time, you'll get over a hundred hours. Yeah, uh, exploring the hand drawn map was a treat. Uh, them just telling you to explore. You didn't have to go anywhere. I probably missed like. Yeah. I think the, we're talking uh, about people that already played games. Elden Ring, though. Like, you know, since we prefaced with spoilers. So you guys already know what we're talking about. Elden Ring was good. Oh, right. It's a spoiler Elden... cast. Yeah, this is a spoiler cast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you How awesome is Kaelin? Did you get teleported to <laughs> yeah. Kaelin? How... Yeah, no, I didn't get teleported to Kaelin. I actually got no, that spoiled to me. Story. I got that spoiled to me. All right. So, like... Yeah, when you All go right, to the you go when first. you first approach Limgrave, right? There's that there's that dragon in that area. Well, there's a teleporter okay. there, a teleport test, and it really? teleports you into the crystal tunnel. And a, See, I didn't and even find the crystal that. tunnel is like a higher it's a higher level area. And there's like these lobsters that like shoot homing lasers on you, whatever. It's not mm -hmm. that big of a deal. But it is it but you can't kill anything in there. Great. Okay. As soon as you leave, it's Kaled. So as soon as you leave, the sky is red. There's like toxic mushrooms everywhere. There's rot lakes. There's oh these God. giant snails. I wish I, I wish I had that yeah, experience. I wish I had that experience. Yeah, my mouth God was damn a gape. I, I was like, uh, I was audibly like yelling oh as I, God. as I. So, my first time going to, going outside of Kaled, I rode all the way to Red Ordon's castle, like level sixteen or something. <laughs> nice. Real fun, real fun. No, but, yeah, unfortunately, too... my experience of Kaled, it was so, mm -hmm. it was so, it was so ruined. My experience of Kaled so ruined. You know what I did? I was like, okay, first thing I did in Elden Ring was like, I progressed hella. I like progressed all the way to um, Raya Lucaria Academy. I like beat that boss really fast. Right. Like somehow it's like, like normal progression. Yeah, yeah normal progression. I, I beat feel. the storm castle and then, which is normal the progression basically, right? Yeah, the grace points you that way. Yeah. yeah, I did all of the, I did everything that's like, I went through the right way and then I progressed hella far in like the first, second day. First, second day. And then, and then I was like, I was pretty smug. I was like, huh, I'm probably like one of the farthest yeah. guys in this game. Like, I can't be spoiled anymore. <laughs> I look up Asmund Gold's stream. I look at it. And he's like level, what? I mean, to preface, like, he's like level 15 or 20. I don't know. Something like that. Like the right. same level as mm -hmm. you. And then I'm level like 50, for example. Because that's see? how much what I do you see? What do I see? I see him in this random area with red skies fighting like these crazy enemies and i'm just like oh my god you saw, I got so you saw him like freaking out about the dogs and, and i see it, the part where he gets the great sword the from Ed berserk Kirk. you got spoiled from the great sword. yeah i was like what the no, fuck that's bro. where you get the great sword and and uh basically that it meant it, it was a lot bigger than you think it is it's it's a pretty big deal i was like damn great sword isn't it weird how like this game is so good that you really worry about spoilers <laughs> like yeah. i wouldn't worry about like spoilers, like, spoilers about like this game. other games really because the, mm -hmm. the the what they deliver is exceptional and you think going into it blind is like the best way to go through these games i feel yeah you get the full experience i mean you actually get you're missing out on the experience if you spoil it so if you are yeah. listening to this podcast without playing the game then you are you <laughs> our one view our one viewer you <laughs> not even you one viewer our zero viewers that 
Are there your viewers? Ghosts, y'all, yeah. y'all do play Ghost Elden Ring if you if you got it over there. Yeah, right now, and then, and then maybe watch the podcast afterwards. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, dude, yeah, Caleb um, fucking spoiled for me. Oh my god, I was like, yeah, no, that's like early. Caleb, Caleb's it's like such the a shift. biggest. It's... Caleb, I would say it's a better end game area than the frost area frost area is so predictable and so dumb uh yeah i agree caleb was i was like caleb is crazy sure. that should yeah. have been yeah that should have been the last That's like, area like that that teleport that is chest was area. is like right at it's so near the entrance that it's like sort of like i feel like it's like you know like, it's meant to yeah no but that's fine that's fine like if you really good you can't spoil something that you that you're yeah. meant to do in the game that, that chest is memed on because it because it leads to Kaylin, you know. So it's it's so funny. How it it is funny. Just go to Kaylin, yeah. I'm surprised Without people actually, it, sure. but that it shows you like, but it was set up so perfectly that people actually organically, it's got there. set up perfectly for if you struggle, you will even you will get to even more despair if you like struggle to get out of the crystal tunnel, which is already achievement. You're gonna end up in Kaylin, and the. Those the finger signs there were so hilarious. It was like true despair. Like I want to go home. Like this is even worse. Like, take me home. <laughs> that is that is really funny, but yeah, that just goes First to show week. that how like every character. I mean, not every character. That just goes to show that every event that's set up in the game is like set up so meticulously for your yeah. That one was experience. definitely on purpose. Yeah. And it's designed so that you'll miss a couple things and your friend will talk about it. Like, I'm talking to Brent about it. He didn't know about it. It's just, like, some, some things he'll explain. So the I thing is, I learned you know. that through Reddit. Like, I was like, what yeah. are these guys memeing about? Like, I, I can't, I don't have that meme experience. Wow. And like, lo homing laser lobsters. What? Homing, uh, yeah, the projectiles in this game. To preface, like the other from software games, projectiles were nothing, but in this game, they're they're like the Giga Chad projectiles. Yeah, Taking like you can get, you from armor get enough levels in this game to like get like an end game, like new game plus rebuild, like an like oh uh, for example yeah, like, what, which is why I don't understand why people are like farming for runes and stuff. They're like, I need I don't yeah, have time you know, to grind really this game. I'm like, are you? Uh, yeah. Um, tell I have me a you never played who... Elden. Tell me yeah. you never played Elden Ring without actually never played a From Software game without saying you've never played a From yeah. Software game. He he definitely went to the Bloody Palace at like level like twenty and then just like ran into like two hundred and just like one shot everything. Yeah, <laughs> and it was you fun. Could, for you him. Could do that. He like loves like he, dude. He loves playing games like that. And I'm like, yeah, buddy. I bet you didn't get to hear any of the music though. Are you talking about Quentin? Yeah, I'm talking. about Quentin. Quentin. Yeah, talk about Quentin. Quentin should sorry, be in this Quentin, podcast yeah, too. I you. I'm sorry. You didn't have to grind though. Oh, he grinded. <laughs> I love Quentin. Did he beat the game? Did Mason? The yeah, it's his first. Okay, to be fair, it's his first Souls game, and he 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 put up every stat one by one. So like, he went. He just went yeah, down the line you do. and went. No, that's like, what you're supposed to. Do. No, you Brent's trolling. This is, that's how you ruin your character. But this game has rebirths, and he didn't know, so he just he just like ran it out like crazy. He because he didn't know it's like his first Souls game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was just funny when like he like summoned me, and I'm like, are how are we in like new game plus, and you're like one shot? <laughs> I'm gonna believe who is one shot? He had he had a blasphemous blade. He had and he had um uh make make a um. Fuck. Oh, so he actually he farmed. A, he actually farmed. He, he had like five weapons on his like tool belt <laughs> that he would swap out and just use all their special abilities and just go through. All right. So that's an example of why balancing is so important in these type of games and why From Software needs to solve that problem because. Yeah, it's. I, I like to think of it as like they're an built in easy mode. It built in easy mode yeah you can like, look at these it games way, are hard but... man dude, these games are hard like people like people can't beat these games i, mean, like, I could go on a are, rant like, of why you shouldn't even have an easy mode in video games but 
I'm not trying to make too much enemies. <laughs> controversial. I'm probably being controversial right now. We were talking, talking like shitting on magic. You know, that's I know a lot of people use magic. The mm, magic. is your F FP flask sort of thing. But usually those people end up playing the game again. All right. Any so, other spoilers you want to talk yeah. about? Any other crazy spoilers? Who's your favorite boss? Oh, Radagon. The yeah, reveal was right? so good. Even even in even though Radagon's you my favorite Radagon too. Was a boss, you're like, wait until Radagon comes. They're like, okay, I guess. Oh, that's did a I boss say that? Guy. I didn't. I didn't ex even though you said that, I didn't expect the last boss to come out like that. Oh. Like, I mean, I liked all the R's, like Radon and Radagon. Radagon, Rani. Ra Radon. Oh, did yeah, you know so Rana like, is Rani? Something really short. She literally yeah, lies she, to you in the beginning. Yeah, she like lies at you. She's like, my name is Rana. And then later on, she's like, my name is actually Rani. Yeah, okay, so what were you saying about Rad Radon? Radagon. Oh yeah, you were talking about cool boss fights. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you've watched um, Record of Ragnarok, but that guy is straight up Thor. From, Records of that show. Oh, yeah, God. he's got the red hair and the hammer going on. Exactly. He. Yeah. Exactly. He just looks so Records good. Records of Ragnarok. Yeah, and that re dude, that reveal was like, it was like, it was like teased in 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 the first teaser. Like you see Marika and Radagon in the same spot when they're. When they're hammering you can't really tell if it's like a girl or guy because it like kind of like swaps between them and you don't know if, if they're like in the same spot or not or doing the same things at the same time but yeah <laughs> they are actually are the same person doing the same things at the same time radagon's fixing it though america's trying to shatter the ring oh, and the that's... the main theme comes out and it times it with your first battle yeah Ooh. no that's crazy it's they know they know how to make a spectacle and from software is perfect battles, at creating yeah. that's what you play their games for in my opinion they're you play it for the single player experience it's perfect yeah because the music is super good and the stages are so unique and what weapon build did you go with which weapon no, 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 build did you go with so those? i started out well i do this in every playthrough so i first i get a little bit of strength and i just run a normal great sword just one great sword Mm -hmm. And That's as soon as I can do. get enough endurance to um, light roll, I'll get an ultra great sword or a colossal sword in this game. <laughs> so I used Guts Great Sword, and as soon as I got more endurance to power stance, colossal swords. That's exactly what I did in the power stance. Uh, nice colossal swords. So that was my yeah. Power build. stance was really cool. Uh, I actually, unfortunately, um, and I'm gonna just say which weapons I used, and then you guys are gonna. You guys already know. The first build I went was... Well, okay, first build I went is the same build everyone goes. Uh -huh. It's just you pick up any weapon that you can use. But then my actual weapon weapon, first weapon weapon I got was the Sword of Night and Flame. <laughs> I used yeah. that. And yeah. then I was like, I guess this is a pretty unique weapon. No one, like, no one uses this. And then, well, you guys already know that weapon is broken. For PvE. Yeah, you beat the game quick though. It's like you, and then, you, you like beat it before like that was like a whole thing. Like, yeah, I did. Before you and then my like, second for, build, like, my second build in that game was Moonveil, <laughs> which is coincidence, huh? It's like what the fuck? I used two of the most broken weapons. I used two of the most broken I used, weapons in the game. Somehow, just out of all these hundreds of weapons. I no, somehow coincidentally grabbed Moonbale and Sword and Night and Flame and used both of them. Yeah. And I was like, this um, game is easy. This... Moonbale is broken. Well, it's so fair. fucking broken. It would have been the same story, whatever you use, because you, you're like a veteran. And power stancing Colossus Swords and jump attacking was arguably. Oh, pretty yeah, I heard about well. that. So I, I, I power I stance Katanas. So I guess that was pretty cool. I was like, yeah, I'm a power stance Katanas. Which... Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the hurt boxes when you do a jump attack, but it's yeah, your your hurt box moves like crazy. You can definitely dodge attacks like no. Oh like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Jump attacks are broken. I yeah. I you did dodge that. like every horizontal attack if you jump. Mm -hmm. Just not the straight down attacks. You'll get hit by those. Yeah, which is, I don't know. Yeah. This game was more of a power fan fantasy compared to the other Souls games. So if you never played any of the other Souls games, I implore you to play the other ones, because those ones are. 
Yeah. Those so... elements are so fucking good. Like, I think Bloodborne's my favorite. Uh, which one was your favorite? Bloodborne. Bloodborne's your favorite? Yeah. Bloodborne's my favorite. But like, Bloodborne I would is put really that, good. I would put that, like, on the same level, if not higher than Elden Ring. <laughs> if that's, like, blasphemous. Do you insane. have a favorite song? I you? love Bloodborne. Do you, do you have, like, a favorite song from that game? Song? From Bloodborne? Yeah, like, who, who's... Who's the theme? Talk about like, song. Just like pop. Let's just say like I'm, boss I'm battle. An, from software songs are like super good. Yeah. So like I can't know, like I can't Ludwig's remember the song. Super good. German's theme is super good. Mario's theme is super good. Wow, that's interesting. I should rate all the songs in <laughs> the from software games. No one's oh, done tell that. Me it takes tell too me, much. Okay, tell me you don't remember this theme. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> it's the cleric VC. The song yeah, is popular. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. I'm jamming. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm more into songs yeah. than you are in these games, but no, I'm hella into the yeah, songs. I... Like that just shows like how these developers they care so much. Like they use these. It doesn't matter. They use the ambience. Yeah. They use everything. Everything is it... perfectly catered it... for perfect experience. Music. And they like boss battles. They will like use the same people too if their stuff is good. Like Yuka Kitamura is still doing their stuff, you know. Yeah, but I think we uh, got on this podcast for long enough, so I'm gonna end it over there. I'll see that went by pretty fast. But yeah. It went um, by fast. I'm I'm pretty much done with talking for this week, I think. That's good. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. This was our first podcast, I guess. All right. Yeah, thanks for tolerating our two man shows and... plus P three, unfortunately, but whatever, it happens. Yep. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. But especially leave comment down. Don't be shy to leave any comments down, like of what you oh, want yeah, to see in like, the future. Just feel like, be like Max is an like... actual caveman. He's kind of <laughs> stupid. I'm I'm not for that. You all uh-huh. can say that. I don't mind. You could just I'll be like, yeah, I, I am a caveman. <laughs> You can do whatever. Like and subscribe. Like, I don't. Like and like, subscribe. I'm, we're at this part of the YouTube where we're trying to. Well, we could take any criticism we can get to improve our content, and yep. we're really open to that. So, see ya. Bye.